Hi guys, welcome back to Nita Crochets. My name is Anita. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very, very beautiful creation. I named it the Cloudy Bucket Heart. It's unisex, it is so lovely, and I loved making this. Before I forget to mention, the written pattern is on all my online shops. So first of all, I'm going to be working with Robin 100% Acrylic. It is chunky yarn. This is size 4 yarn. And I'm going to need two balls of yarn, one for the blue color and the other for the white color. Also, I'm going to be working with a six millimeter hook. And I made this for someone that has not very big hair, but some hair on the head. So I am making a size for those that have hair, right? If you, are, if you don't have big hair, then you're going to have to make a smaller round piece than this all right so first we are going to make our magic circle insert our hook into the circle and pull through a loop and work a stitch but it does not count as a stitch then after that we are going to work eight single crochets into the circle and once we have all eight single crochets we are going to work a slip stitch into the stitch that didn't count as a stitch okay to end our row it should be more like a turning chain let's say yes but that's why we work our slip stitch into to close off our row and then you will pull your yarn in to close the circle now once we have that for our second row okay we are going to chain two and we are going to yarn over into this very first stitch we are going to work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch so we go in with our second stitch and work that half double crochet then we shall work two half double crochets once again into the next stitch and this is what we are going to do for the stitches we have on this row so we are just going to keep working two half double crochets into every stitch until we come to the end of the row you should have um 16 yes you should have 16 stitches once you get to the end of your row and i'm going to meet here at the end and show you what to here do here we are at the end of our row so once you come to the end of your row you're going to get into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started this row and in there you will work a slip stitch to close off your row okay So to start the next row we are going to chain two and we are going to work two half double crochets into this very first stitch so now we go in there with our very first half double crochet and then yarn over insert our hook into that very same stitch and work our second half double crochet now you will yarn over get into the next stitch and work a half double crochet right then work another half double crochet into that very same stitch so even for this row just like we previously worked two half double crochets into every stitch even for this row we are working two half double crochets into every stitch all the way around and one should have a total of 32 stitches once they come to the end of their row all right So here we are at the end of my row and i'm just going to get my work work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row now to start my next row i'm going to chain two remember that the chain two does not act as a stitch it's just our cha sorry turning chains so we are now going to work two half double crochets into the next two stitches so that means we are going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch now into the third stitch we shall work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch right and after we have that we are now going to work three half double crochets into the next three stitches that means we work one one half double crochet into every stitch for the next three stitches and once we have three stitches we are then going to work two half double crochets all into the next stitch right once again work three half double crochets into the next three stitches that means 
one half double crochet into every stitch for the next three stitches and then once you have all the three stitches into the next stitch you're going to work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch i hope this is clear now this is what you are going to follow through all the way around until you have one stitch left to end your row and you will work one half double crochet into that last stitch then work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the three of the two chains that started the row i am at the end of my row and i have a total of um 40 stitches and that's what you should have now to start my next row i'm going to chain two and i'm going to work two half double crochets into the next two stitches right now into the third stitch i'm going to work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch all right just like that now from here i'm going to now work four half double crochets into the next four stitches right yes work four half double crochets into the next four stitches that means you work one half double crochet into every stitch for the next four stitches and once you have those four stitches you're now going to work two half double crochets all in the next stitch so that means for this row we are working in intervals of four half double crochets into the next four stitches and two half double crochets into the next stitch that's what you're going to do repeatedly all the way around for this row you will find that you have two half double crochets sorry two stitches left to end your row after your two half double crochets in the same stitch and there you'll work two half double crochets into those last two stitches and work a slip stitch into the chain two that started the row and on that row you need to have a total of 50 stitches so for the next row we are going to chain two and we shall work two half double crochets into the next two stitches right that means into the first and the second we work one one half double crochet and then oh i hope i really got this right yes but um after you have your uh two half double crochets into the first two stitches we shall work two half double crochets into the next stitch which is the third stitch and then after that we are going to work four sorry five half double crochets into the next five stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch so that means we work one half double crochet into every stitch for the next five stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch all in that very same stitch this is what we do repeatedly you will have three stitches left to end your row after your increase so you'll work three half double crochets into those last three stitches then work a slip stitch into that second chain that started the row you should have a total of 50 stitches on this row and to start our next row this is what i have so far to start our next row we are going to chain two and do somewhat the very same thing we start with two half double crochets into the first two stitches and then into the third stitch we work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch now after that we are going to work six half double crochets into the next six stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch okay so that means we are going to be working in intervals of six half double crochets into the next six stitches which is one half double crochet into every stitch for the next six stitches and then into the next stitch after those six we work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch right now this is what you are going to do all the way around until you come to the end of your row and you should have a total of 60 stitches now you can see that as we go on increasing the numbers of uh, stitches we have on our rounds you find that we are making an increment of 10 stitches per row right so i'm going to get back to you guys after you have this row complete i just want to make sure that we get this right so that if anyone has to make adjustments 
for the fitting of their heart, at least they have the right stitches before they start working the clouds, right? So let me meet you guys at the end of your row and I'll just explain something before we get to the side of our heart. Here we are and at the end of my row I'm going to chain two and I'm going to work two half double crochets into the first two stitches. Then into the third stitch, I'm going to work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch. Now, after that, I'm going to work seven half double crochets into the next seven stitches. That means one half double crochet into every stitch for the next seven stitches. And then I will work two half double crochets into the very same stitch after the seven, right? So for this row, we are doing the very same thing working in 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 series of seven half double crochets into the next seven stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch now you'll find that you will have um five stitches left to end your row after your last increase and then you'll work five half double crochets into the last five stitches then work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row now um on this row you should have a total of 70 stitches and then i feel like um for me because i'm working this for someone with big hair i'm going to just add a, a a few more rows i'm going to add two more rows so that i have a total of 90 stitches right so you just keep increasing the number of stitches you work before an increase and then once i have got into the row where i have a total number of 90 stitches that's why i'm going to get back to you guys and then show you what to do but for me i feel like if you have hair on your head or you usually plate hair or you have natural hair you should go with the size that i am working which is 90 stitches for the round uh, of the top of your heart if you feel like you need something more fitting then you should stop i think either on this row or the next you will get something more fitted if that's what you're looking for and you probably just don't have big hair or something then you should end on this row or the next row so guys clearly what i'm doing here is just working a few more rows before i now work on the side of my heart so once you have the width that you need for your heart or for the top of your heart you are now going to get to working my next row which is right here so um here it is i have the rows that i need uh at this point i had the rows that i needed but at some point i took off one row because i felt it was too wide but yes if you want to work the size the correct size i worked you need to have 90 stitches on your last row here i had 100 i still took off one row and made it 90. so once you have the width that you need for your circle you are now going to chain two and work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until the end of your row so you should have 90 stitches at the end of this row right so just work your one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around and i'm going to meet you on the next row where we start our clouds so to work the clouds i'm going to be working with two colors that's the white and the blue that we have already been working with now you'll get your yarn which is the white yarn and you're going to get its yarn end and place it over in this manner that i'm showing you place it over like that right over the previous row that you worked and here you're going to chain one and make sure you're working it underneath right so place it over like that and work underneath so you'll work one single crochet into the very first stitch and you're going to continue working one single crochet into every stitch all the way until you have a total of nine single crochets. And you are just going to continue doing this until you make sure that you have nine single crochets once you have nine you're going to lay down the blue yarn and then put the white onto your 
you know index finger and just work your first single crochet by inserting your hook into the next stitch and pulling up a loop with the white yarn and then work a single crochet with the white yarn into the next stitch and the next stitch after that so we should have three sorry uh, we should have three single crochets with the white yarn right and then after we are going to pick up our blue yarn and lay down the white yarn and with the blue yarn yeah we are going to insert our hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop with the blue yarn and work our single crochet then we are going to work eight single crochets into the next eight stitches which makes it a total of nine single crochets with the blue yarn right okay so you work your nine single crochets with the blue yarn and once you confirm that you have nine single crochets with the blue yarn right you're now going to lay down lay down the blue yarn and you know pick up the white yarn and then you know work three single crochets with the white yarn right work three single crochets with the white yarn and once you have your three single crochets lay down the white yarn and then pick up the blue yarn and work nine single crochets with the blue yarn so i'm going to let you guys work this row until the end of it just work nine single crochets with the blue yarn and three single crochets with the white yarn right so go all the way around until you come to the end of your row if you have extra stitches at the end of the row maybe like five or something just work them with the blue yarn right yes so do this until the end of the row and i'm going to meet you at the end of the row then show you what to do next Oh, when you get to the end of your row you work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row then i'll meet you after that and show you what to do here is where we are i have come to the end of my row and this is how my work looks like and now to start my next row i'm going to make sure that i have worked my chain and then pull this white yarn up to be placed over my previous row and into that very first stitch i'm going to work a single crochet now for the second row of our cloud we are going to work one single crochet into every stitch until we have two stitches left to get to the white yarn right so you're going to work your single crochets with the blue yarn and then the white yarn underneath the blue yarn so work your single crochets until you have two stitches left to get to the white yarn just like you can see right here i have two stitches left to get to my very first stitch of the white yarn and once i am there i'm going to lay down my uh, blue yarn and i'm going to pick up my white yarn and i'm going to work six single crochets into the next six stitches with my white yarn all right so we get in there and work our single crochet that's the first one with the white yarn and work a single crochet into the next stitch those are two right uh, one single crochet into the next those are three and one single crochet into the next those are four a single crochet into the next stitch those are five and into the next stitch we work a single crochet which makes it six right and once you have six with the white yarn you're going to lay it back down and then pick up the blue yarn this work really takes time because you have to keep changing your yarns but the result is really satisfying so yes we pick up the blue yarn and we are going to work six single crochets into the next six stitches with our blue yarn right so we work six single crochets into the next six stitches with our blue yarn so just work your six single crochets and once you have all six right once you have all six you lay down the blue and pick up the white right i think i still have yeah lay down the blue pick up the white and then work six single crochets with the white yarn so for this row we are working in series of six single crochets with the blue yarn and six single crochets with the white yarn right 
so just do this all the way around for every stitch until you come to the end of your row you'll find that you have a few stitches at the end of the row that do not make up six uh six stitches but after you have your last stitches with the white yarn just finish off the row with the blue yarn and then work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row okay so i'm going to meet you on the next row and then show you what to do with the next row all right so let me meet you guys there then show you what to do just work six single crochets with the white yarn six single crochets with the blue yarn you'll see the clouds starting to form and you know it will give you so much joy here we are at the end of our row this is how my work looks like now uh i have worked my slip stitch into the chain one so i'm going to get started with the next row i'm just going to get my white yarn and lay it over i'm just going to lay it over the previous row right um don't mind me i was about to make an error but yes lay it over just like that and into that very first stitch you work with your blue yarn and work a single crochet right i worked this row when i still had more stitches than 90 but i later you know uh made it adjusted adjusted the number of stitches so how i've ended my row here may look a little different but don't worry you're going to see better results in the next uh, clips right so here we just have to work our single crochets with the blue yarn until we have one stitch left to get to our very first stitch of the white yarn okay so once we have one stitch left to get to the uh, first stitch of the white yarn we lay down our blue yarn and into that stitch we work a single crochet with the white yarn and then we are going to work um, seven single crochets into the next seven stitches with our white yarn so that means we are having a total of eight stitches on this row with the white yarn sorry on this cloud with the white yarn just like that oh how about i name this hat cloud nine okay <laughs> it just got into my head uh now here we go um place down your white yarn and then work um yes four half double crochets into the next four stitches with your blue yarn right see that and once you have your four stitches with the blue yarn you pick up the white yarn and then work eight single crochets am i even saying oh they're single crochets not half double crochets yes work eight single crochets into the next eight stitches with the white yarn so to finish off this row we are going to be working in series of four single crochets with the blue yarn into the next four stitches and then eight single crochets with the white yarn into the next eight stitches okay so that's the series you're going to keep following all the way around for your heart until you come to the end of your row remember the last stitches that do not make a full cloud will be worked with our blue yarn and that's how we are going to keep ending our row okay just don't try to fix a cloud at the end of the row just because the stitches are so many or they're more than what you know no just work with the blue yarn until the end of the row right so i'm going to meet you at the end of the row then show you how to work the next row so uh to start my next row i am going to get my blue yarn and work uh, a chain all right and now into i think i was uh, um at this point i was just um you know please don't follow what i did just chain one with your blue yarn and place the white over the previous row and now here we are going to work um one single crochet into every stitch until we are one stitch past the white stitches right okay just look closely 
so you can see i go to the white and then i worked into that first stitch of the white yarn right and once you are one stitch past the white yarn you are now going to pick up your white yarn and now work six single crochets with the white yarn okay why i keep not giving you accurate accurate numbers an accurate figure of how many stitches that start the blue the blue yarn when starting the row is because i first worked this heart with a hundred stitches all the way around and then decreased the number because my heart was kind of big so i decreased the number i had to redo the clouds and decrease the number to 90. so my first row of the clouds my first cloud row was worked with a hundred stitches all the way around and then my second row of the clouds was adjusted and you know was giving the real results all right now after this we are just going to work um how many were they um yeah we are going to work six single crochets with the blue yarn into the next six stitches remember we already worked our six with the white yarn so we work six single crochets into the next six stitches with our blue yarn and then pick up the white yarn and work six single crochets into the next six stitches with the white yarn so for this row we are working in intervals of six single crochets with the blue yarn and six single crochets with the white yarn the moment you get past the first starting stitches you just now work in the series that i try to explain to you right because now you know we have met the first cloud and made sure that the stitches are accurate and now the rest of it is just working in the series i try to tell you now for this work six single crochets into the next six stitches with the blue yarn and six single crochets into the next two stitches with the white yarn right just do this all the way around and work a slip stitch into your last stitch sorry into the chain one that started the row then um this is the last row of our first row of the clouds right so um this is how it looks like so far it's complete and this is how it looks like guys i kept screaming each time i saw that my clouds are forming and it brought me so much joy i don't know how much joy you have seeing your piece come out right but now to work the next row you are going to chain one and we are going to get into every stitch and just work one single crochet into every stitch this row is to separate my first row of the clouds with uh, from the from the second row of the clouds right so we are going to have our white yarn be run underneath this row but we just keep working one single crochet into every stitch all the way around using our blue yarn so let me meet you at the end of the row and then show you how to work our second row of the clouds So guys, this is my heart. This is when I had adjusted my width and you can see it looks better and it looks, yeah, um, a great size. The other one was kind of big because it was 10 stitches bigger than this. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to have to place um, clouds in between the previous clouds, right? so that i do not have the cl this these clouds just right under the previous clouds but instead in between each two of the previous clouds so to start my row i'm going to chain one and you know have my white yarn underneath so i am going to work um six single crochets into the next six stitches with my blue yarn and once i have six single crochets in the next six stitches i'm going to pick up my white yarn and work three single crochets into the next three stitches with my white yarn right now here you will uh, see that we are now going to work in the series that we worked our very first row of the clouds when we were starting this design so after you have your three single crochets with the white yarn you're going to lay down your white yarn and pick up your blue yarn and with the blue yarn you're going to work nine single crochets into the next nine stitches right that's with the blue yarn and once you have all nine yeah once you have all nine single crochets 
uh, with the blue yarn you are now going to pick up your white yarn and with the white yarn you are going to work um, three single crochets into the next three stitches right this is what we did for our very first row of the clouds of you know the first row of the clouds so yes we work three single crochets into the first three stitches and once we have our three single crochets in the first three stitches we now pick up the blue yarn and with the blue yarn we work nine single crochets into the next nine stitches so this is what we are going to do repeatedly working nine single crochets into the next nine stitches with the blue yarn and then three single crochets into the next three stitches with the white yarn so do this all the way around and for the whichever number of you know stitches you have at the end of the row work them in blue so that you end your row once you have your last stitches of white yarn yeah you work the rest of the stitches with the blue yarn and then work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row and i'm going to meet you on the next row right okay so here we are i am at the end of my row and now i am going to you know lay my white yarn over yes over the previous row and chain one with the blue yarn just like that and now i am going to work um four single i think four or okay let's just work our single crochets with the blue yarn until we have two stitches left to get to um the white yarn okay no 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 oh yes yes that's right yeah until we have two stitches left to get to the white yarn just like you can see i need to yeah yeah i have two stitches left to get to the white yarn so i'll pick up my white yarn and i will work um six single crochets into the next six stitches with my white yarn right that's one that's two and i'll get into the next no i am making a mistake guys pick up your white yarn right just like that uh-huh three and then um four and then five right and then the sixth make it six okay so once we have all six single crochets with the white yarn we shall place it down my daughter is really disturbing me but yes we shall place down our white yarn and pick up the blue yarn and with the blue yarn we are going to work six single crochets so if you remember this is what we did for our second row of the clouds so yes you get in there and work six single crochets into the next six stitches that's with the blue yarn and this is the series in which we are going to be working this whole entire row we are going to be working six single crochets with the blue yarn and then six single crochets with the white yarn right six single crochets with the blue yarn into the next six stitches and then six single crochets with the white yarn into the next six stitches do this repeatedly all the way around until you come to the end of your row work the last stitches with your blue yarn and once you have that you are now going to work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row and i'm going to meet you on the next row and then show you what to do okay okay now here we are at the end of my row and i'm going to chain one into the next stitch i'm going to work a single crochet and i'm going to work one single crochet with my blue yarn into every stitch until i have one stitch left sorry one stitch to the first stitch of the white yarn so once i have one stitch left to get to the white yarn i'm going to drop my blue yarn and pick up my white yarn into that stitch i'll work a single crochet with the white yarn and i'm going to work seven single crochets with the white yarn after that stitch so that means i'll have a total of eight single crochets with the white yarn all right so work your eight single crochets with the white yarn until you have all eight once you have all eight you are now going to place down your white yarn 
right? And then pick up your blue yarn. Pick up your blue yarn once you have all eight. Now, from here, we are going to work four single crochets into the next four stitches. That's with our blue yarn, okay? And then once you have all four single crochets in the next four stitches, you're going to pick up your white yarn and then work um, eight single crochets into the next eight stitches and that's with the white yarn. So with this, you work eight single crochets into the next eight stitches with the white yarn and then after that, you just continue working four single crochets into the next four stitches with the blue yarn and eight single crochets into the next eight stitches with the white yarn. This is what we did for our third row of the first cloud that we worked. So just do this all the way around and make sure to end your row with the blue yarn. So those extra stitches at the end of your row or at the end of your last cloud, you work them with the blue yarn and then work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row. So just do this all the way around and I'm going to meet you on the last row of the clouds. Then we shall now see how to work our brim. So um, here we are. All right. So with the blue yarn, I'm going to chain one, lay my white yarn over the previous row, and I'm going to work one single crochet into every stitch until I have passed the white yarn by one stitch. Okay. So you work your single crochets until you have passed your first cloud by one stitch, your first white yarn by one stitch okay so just work your single crochets just like that until you are past the white yarn by one stitch so this is the second last then now into that first stitch of the white yarn right there we still work a single crochet with our blue yarn see that now from here you place down your blue yarn pick up the white yarn and work six single crochets into the next six stitches with the white yarn all right and then once you have done all that you are now going to um yes once you have your six single crochets with the white yarn make sure there are six you will now place down the white yarn and pick up the blue yarn and work six single crochets into the next six stitches with the blue yarn. Now for this row, we are going to be working in intervals of six single crochets with the blue yarn and six single crochets with the white yarn, right? And this is what we did for our very last row of the clouds that we previously worked. So you do this until the end of the row and work a slip stitch into the chain one that started the row. Now I'm going to get back and just show you how to work your next row before we start working the brim of our heart. All right, because now we have our clouds complete and I'm so glad you made it this far. Sorry, I'm so glad you made, you made it this far. Really, really proud of you. Now let's get back to working our brim. So guys, here we are. Now, um, what you will do when you come to the end of your row, you will cut your white yarn from a length, just like that, so that you have that yarn end, you know, dangling. So you just lay it over this row, and now with the blue yarn, you start working one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. This is more like to, you know, give us an, you know, a physical a physical indication of where our clouds stop and then before we have the brim right ouch god you guys um i caught red eyes we have red eyes in uganda let's just have a chat yes we have this i don't know whether it's a new disease but yeah it's really rampant i think i don't know whether it's you can get it you can catch it i don't know whether it's airborne but yes it's so easy to catch it just like you see COVID and I am suffering from it. My eyes are swollen, they are red. I am having to live off painkillers and eye drops, honestly. 
but I hope I get to heal. I really hope I get to heal. I don't know if people know about it. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it's really, really going around in Uganda. And, you know, I think I picked it from my brother because he was coming from school and, you know, students are getting infected at school. So I picked it. And, yeah, I kept itching my eyes. They're really, really, ugh. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. Enough of me. So, yes, once we have worked our row of the single crochets, now we are going to chain two and into the back loop of the first five stitches, we are going to work five half double crochets. So, that means we are going to work one half double crochet into every back loop of every stitch until we have five half double crochets. Okay. And then once we have five half double crochets, we are now going to work two half double crochets into the next uh, back loop or the next stitch or the next, the back loop of the next stitch. I hope I'm right now. And once we have that, for this row, we are still going to do the very same thing, but just make sure that you're working into the back loop, guys, into the back loop, because when we work into the back loop, we have that very visible line that kind of crosses all the way around that separates the side of the heart from the brim like someone can really identify where our brim actually starts from also it gives that fold that you know flares that flares the brim up which i'm looking for that's why i work into the back loop right so what you do is you just work five half double crochets into the next into the back loop of the next five stitches and then work two half double crochets into the next into the back loop of the next stitch after that right so we are working in intervals of five half double sorry five half double crochets into the back loop of the next five stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch after those five right now this is what you're going to do all the way around until you come to the end of your row and it should look like this and once you have come to the end of your row worked a slip stitch you're now going to chain two and now we are just going to work um one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you come to the end of the row so you will just be working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you come to the end of your row and then Repeat that for the next row and the next row until you have like uh, a total of five rows of half double crochets for your brim, all right? So the increment we have done is just enough to give us the flare we are looking for, for our brim. So now just work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you have five rows and then you will have had your bucket hat complete. Try it on, tell me how it fits, tell me how you found the pattern. The written pattern is also available. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Let me see you all in my next tutorial, and goodbye.